Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's logo design tutorial, we will design this logo, which is the combination of letter A and a water drop. So without wasting any time, let's continue with the design process in Inkscape. So first of all, if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this, then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view. Go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties, select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Then set the width of your page to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels and simply select this cross icon. And now the presence of two menus is very important in Inkscape for almost each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu. Simply click on this icon and the second one is align and distribute menu. Simply click on this icon. Then select this one which says zoom to fit page in windows. And before designing our logo, we will continue with the reference geometry. First of all, select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle. Then select the selection tool and here we have the option for the width and the height. Simply select the value of height to 350 pixels and press enter. Then right click, select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this position and this time set the value of height to 300 pixels and press enter. And to differentiate between the parts, we will simply apply a different color like this red color. Then select both of these parts and from the fill and stroke menu, simply reduce the opacity to 50% and press enter. Now we want to drag this corner of the red rectangle at this corner of the green one. For this purpose, we will turn on the snapping options. So click on this icon, enable snapping, also on this one, then select snap to paths and also on this one, snap to rectangle corners. Deselect both of these rectangles by clicking on the white area, then drag this red rectangle towards this corner of the green one. Select the pen tool. Click once at this corner, move your mouse cursor towards the right and to draw a straight line, simply hold down the control key. Click once and to complete the shape, simply press enter. Select the selection tool, right click, select duplicate and drag the duplicated line towards this corner. Again right click, duplicate and drag the duplicated line towards this corner. Then select these rectangles and simply press delete on the keyboard. Now select the circle tool and to draw a perfect circle, simply hold down the control key, then move your mouse cursor like this. Now we doesn't need the fill, so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and apply a stroke color by holding down the shift key and clicking on this black color. Then select the selection tool, click on this lock icon and select the value of height to 230 pixels and press enter. Again right click, select duplicate and this time select the value of height to 425 pixels and press enter. Then select both of these circles, hold down the shift key and click once at this middle line and from the align and distribute menu, simply select last selected, then click on this icon center on vertical axis and also on this one center on horizontal axis. Then select the pen tool, click once at this position. Hold down the control key and move your mouse cursor towards the right. Again left click and press enter. And now we want to rotate this new line at 25 degrees. So go to object and select transform. In the transform menu go to rotate and set the value of angle to 25 degrees. Select clockwise direction then apply. And now we doesn't need this transform menu. So we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon. Then select the selection tool, hold down the shift key and click once at this circle. And from the align and distribute menu, simply select center on vertical axis and also on this one center on horizontal axis. Then press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area. Select the selection tool, deselect the parts by clicking on the white area. Then only select this line. And now we want to place the corners of the line at the circle. So hold down the control key, then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag it like this. Also for this one, 
again hold down the control key and drag it like this once you are done simply right click on the shape and select duplicate then click on this icon rotate 90 degrees in the clockwise direction and drag your line towards this corner again right click select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this position and now we want to place this corner of the duplicated line at this intersection point so turn on the snapping options of intersection then drag the line towards this intersection point like this select the pen tool left click at this position then hold down the control key and move your mouse cursor towards this end again left click and press enter select the selection tool and now we want to place this line at the center of this circle so hold down the shift key click once at the circle and from the align and distribute menu select center on vertical axis and also center on horizontal axis then select zoom to fit page in windows and now we want to differentiate our reference geometry from the rest of the parts so deselect the shapes by clicking on the white area hold down the shift key and click once on the reference lines like this and apply it some different color by holding down the shift key and clicking on this red color then select the pen tool click once at this position again at this position and press enter then select the selection tool select all of these parts go to path and select combine now select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle that cover all of these parts and apply it a solid color like this red color select the selection tool and click on this icon which says lower selection to bottom and this time select both of these parts go to path and select division you can see that it is very difficult to differentiate between the parts so to create some ease we will apply a black stroke color so hold down the shift key and click once at this black color and now it is much better now deselect the parts by clicking on the white area and now we can delete the unwanted parts by simply selecting it and press delete on the keyboard in the same way we will delete the other unwanted parts now select them simply go to path and select union then select edit paths by nodes tool and you can see that there are too many unwanted nodes we can solve this problem by going to path and select simplify and you can see that it magically reduced the number of nodes now select the pen tool click once at this corner again at this position and simply press enter to complete the shape now select the selection tool hold down the control key then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag it towards the line like this right click select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this corner then select the shift key click once at this line go to path and select combine then select the pen tool click once at this node and also on this one again click on this node then complete the shape by clicking on this one and now we doesn't need the stroke color so we will cancel it by holding down the shift key and clicking on this cross icon and assign it some different solid color like this blue color then select the selection tool select both of these parts and in the fill and stroke menu simply reduce the opacity to 50% and press enter then deselect the parts by clicking on the white area select only this red one and again we doesn't need the stroke color so simply hold down the shift key and click on this cross icon now again select this blue shape select the pen tool and you can see that there are two unwanted nodes we can get rid of them by simply going to path and select union now simply press z on the keyboard and zoom in this area and now we want to convert these sharp corners into the rounded ones so go to path and select path effects and in the path effects menu simply click on this small plus icon and select the path effects of corners then select the edit path by nodes tool and you can see that green colored nodes are appearing at every corner simply hold down your left mouse button at the green node and drag it like this and once you are done 
simply go to path and select object to path and now we will repeat the procedure with the bottom red shape so simply select it with the left click then click on this plus icon again select the path effects of corners and once this green colored node appear simply hold down your left mouse button and drag it like this again go to path and select object to path then select this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows select the selection tool and now we doesn't need this reference geometry so select these lines and press delete now select both of these shapes right click select group again right click select duplicate then click on this icon flip horizontally drag the duplicated copy at this position and now we want to place this corner of the duplicated copy at this corner so simply drag it like this then select all of these shapes and click on this ungroup icon now deselect them by clicking on the white area hold down the shift key click once at this shape also on this one then go to path and select union and now select this rectangle and click on this icon lower selection to bottom and apply a different color like this green color now we will create our gradient colors so select all of these parts go to edit and select cut we will paste it later after creating our gradients now to create the gradients simply select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle like this in the fill and stroke menu increase the opacity to 100% then select the edit gradient tool double click on the shape and the gradient will be applied left click at this end and you can see that the opacity is 0% simply increase the value to 100% and here we have the option for the color code simply write the value of code to 05 fab6 then select this node and this time write the value to 006 cde then select the selection tool right click select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this position select the edit gradient tool click once at this left color and write the value of code to b51 bf1 click once at this right color and write the value of code to ff9955 and we are done with our gradient colors select the selection tool select both of these gradients and you can save them anywhere at your page and now we will paste our logo so go to edit and select paste in place and in the fill and stroke menu increase the opacity to 100% then deselect them by clicking on the white area select only this blue rectangle and in the fill and stroke menu simply click on this icon linear gradient and here you can find your gradients simply select the first gradient that we created then select this part again select linear gradient and this time select the gradient with the name 3052 again select this green rectangle go to linear gradient and select the gradient with the name 3064 we are almost done with our logo and now it's time to apply the shadows before that we will turn off the snapping options by clicking on this icon then select this shape right click select duplicate and apply this black color then reduce the value of opacity to 50% and simply drag it like this select this middle shape right click select duplicate then hold down the shift key and click once at this black copy go to path and select intersection then select this left rectangle right click select duplicate then hold down the shift key and click once at this black copy go to path and select difference now select this shape right click select duplicate and again apply this black color reduce the opacity to 50% and drag it according to your choice like this then select this right rectangle right click select duplicate then hold down the shift key and click once at this black copy go to path and select intersection 
then select this middle part right click select duplicate then hold down the shift key and click once at this black copy go to path and select difference simply select all of these shadows and in the fill and stroke menu reduce the opacity to 15% and press enter and we are done with our shadows and it's time to apply the blending effect simply deselect the parts by clicking on the white area hold down the shift key click once at this left rectangle and also on this middle part right click select duplicate then go to path and select intersection also apply this white color then reduce the value of opacity to 15% and press enter then select this right rectangle hold down the shift key select this middle part right click select duplicate then go to path and select intersection again apply this white color and this time reduce the value of opacity to 35% and press enter and we are done with our minimalistic logo design let's see that how our logo works in the dark background so select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this corner to this corner. Increase the value of opacity to 100% and apply this black color. Select the selection tool and click on this icon lower selection to bottom. And you can see that our logo is also working fine in the dark background. And this is for today's logo design tutorial in Inkscape. You can also share your thoughts about the design in the comments section that whether you liked it or not or if you want to suggest any modifications. And if you think that this video helps you in some way, then like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.